if you have just had an outburst and you don't want it to happen again and you're wondering where it came from this is the video for you i understand you completely i've struggled with that all my life hi there this is bao this is just me talking about my own experience in controlling not controlling but more like understanding where my outbursts last time come from and i'm still on a very personal journey but i thought it would be good to share and keep myself accountable and i'm not a trained therapist so i'm just sharing what i have done steps i have taken to understand myself a bit better and i'm hoping this can help you too Okay. So if you don't already know, my name is Pao the Bee Jin. Double disclaimer is that I'm not a therapist, I do not want to be a therapist, and I'm not trying to tell you what you should do or you cannot do, nor am I trying to validate your feelings. I'm just saying what I've done for myself, and if this sounds logical to you, you can feel free to take whatever you need from this video, okay? So let's dive right in! So I've done a few shots where I actually talk a little bit about why I always had outbursts last time and I didn't really know, I just felt like if I'm angry at the person, that person needs to play. I didn't really know how to get a little bit deeper as to why I'm feeling a certain way. So as a trained engineer, I've come up with some logical steps to understand myself a little bit better. So what I've done, um, logically, because they say that girls are not very logical. I think I am very logical, okay? What do you mean not logical? <laughs> If I say something that offends you, please stop watching, okay? I, I don't mean to say something that will make you feel a certain way, whatever it is, okay? I'm just trying to think about ways that we can understand ourselves a bit better because of how fast-paced our lives are. I didn't really have time to slow down and really think about what I'm feeling last time when I was really working all the time. So I'm going to use the word outburst and I hope you don't take offense with that. Okay, what I mean when I say outburst, my personal definition, you can do agree with it, is if you reacted in a certain way that you didn't want yourself to. That means you didn't plan it, you couldn't control it, and it just kind of came out. And then subsequently, when you think about it, you regret that particular action, that particular reaction. If you find that it happens pretty much, I would suggest keeping a record of this outburst. So we're gonna keep a record and write down okay what happened, what led to this outburst. And if you don't feel like talking about what you have done, how you have reacted, then don't write it down. But write down the circumstance that lead you to have that outburst. Journaling can help or you can just use your notes app if it's easier. I'm actually very reliant on my notes. If someone hacks into my Apple iCloud update, I'm dead, I'm really, please don't. Okay, I need to back up my things right now. So if you are in a hurry, you can just write a quick note or just a very short sentence or a few words for you to reflect at the end of the day. So at the end of the day, you can actually review those words and then write in more detail in a journal or in a journaling app. <laughs> this girl is the nastiest skank bitch I've ever met. Yes, so review it at the end of the day because we don't sit down and review anything anymore. We're just like do, 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 you know. Reflecting is a very, very big piece of what I have been missing in my previous few years and it had made me lost in the fast-paced life that we live in. The third step is to match your emotions to a list. There will be a list in my description box below. It's also by Bernie Brown, who I love. If you don't know, the book Daring Greatly actually changed my fundamentals as a person. <laughs> I firmly believe that we have to know what we are feeling in order to understand it and address it. Okay, you go to the link below. And then there will be many many emotions that you can be feeling and you're gonna try to match what you are feeling to that emotion as best as you can. Usually for me it's more of like ego because I don't want to admit that I'm wrong so I will lash out as well. Yeah that's me a lot of the time. If you just want to get to the root of it, definitely go to the link and try to match your emotions to it. Try not to use very generic words because it's not really how your underlying feeling is you know we are trying to get to the bottom of why you are feeling a certain way so that we can 
address it later on. Use something that really matches more accurately. You can use a few words if you want to. Maybe it's a few things at one go and that's why you get overwhelmed. Okay, so after you have reviewed your emotions, you are going to replay the event in your head. Okay, I keep thinking of this in an office setting, but it could also be in a house setting or any kind of setting. What you will replay in your head is exactly what happened. Maybe that certain side eye look that they gave you, those exact words that you say. Try to replay them in your head when you have settled down a lot more and you are ready to face this again. It can take a few days, it can take a few weeks, months even. That's why you want to record it down at the start. So when you are finally ready to explore it, take it out and replay the event in your head and think about what it is that made you feel that way. What is it that really made you have those emotions. Personally, I believe I have some daddy issues. What? I have problems with my dad, even my mom. As with every child, I believe we all have some kind of problems with our parents. They're adults, you're adults. You definitely will have some kind of conflict is what I believe. It's just how you resolve it, right? So for me, say something that my dad or my mom said, then it triggered me and I reacted a certain way. My underlying emotion may be pride or just not wanting to take their instructions. Somehow I realized as I grow older, I don't want to listen to their instructions. I don't want to do what they want me to do. So even if it's something very simple, I'm just not doing it because I don't want to listen to you. I don't want to be old. Huh? That's really strange. So the underlying thing is that I don't want them to think that I'm their puppet. <laughs> I always wanted to be this independent person and it feels like you're treating me like a child when you tell me to do something and that's why I will lash out and will say it. It's not that I don't want to do it. So you want to try to get to more of the root of your problem. So once you understand why you are reacting a certain way or at least you think you understand, maybe do some journaling and write out what you think is happening to yourself, to your emotions. Do not trust her. She is a fugly slut. Uh, because writing is a very good form of therapy, I realized. For myself at least. So when I actually write down my words versus typing out, okay. So you can type out the very short things, very surface things, but when you actually start to be in a zone where you don't get interrupted, you can really journal for very very long and you just go into your because we're all onions right we all have layers right so you can just go deeper into your layers and understand what's there at the core okay is it rotten <laughs> no it's not rotten okay i don't believe it's rotten once you understand that then you're going to think about your future reply if something like that happens again so no matter how cringy it is no matter how you have to say I'm sorry How you have to think of the time Even if it's just okay I'll do it Or something I don't know what happened I mean I'm behind the screen I can only speak from my own experiences So my experiences are very lame So imagine my dad tells me to turn, turn off the light I'm like, No I don't want to turn off the light So maybe my future response will be Fine I'll turn off the light That is the stupidest example I've ever heard Okay let me think of a better one Never mind But you get what I mean So you think of the response, then you replay the scenario in your head, and then you imagine yourself replying that reply. Huh? Or even if you don't want to reply, giving a smile. I have to say that if someone is being aggressive or abusive, please report to the police. Okay, I'm saying if that person said something that triggered you and you reacted in a way that you regretted. Okay, if someone is abusive to you and then you fight back, I don't think you should be regretting the action. You should call the police. Yes, but if it is a situation where you regretted your action, then this is the video for you, okay? And if it is extremely hard to 
say that particular reply or that particular smile that you want to give yeah. even if it's very false you definitely can practice at home when I was young I always practice my replies and I realized so many people do it when you were younger you always think of a certain scenario and then you will think how you're gonna reply or react right and then you will make like faces in public I don't know I realized that's very common among my friends I'll catch them like smiling to themselves huh? or was I living like in some like from the house I don't know but I realized I always do that when I was young. And why should we stop? We should continue. But I mean, I'll do it at home. If you really don't feel comfortable, then practice it in your head. Because only when we practice how we want our reactions, right? Then we will be able to act it out in the future and we will be less embarrassed by that particular reaction. I don't know how to say it, but sometimes some things are just kind of cringy. Last time when I think about saying this has hurt my feelings, it was such a cringy phrase to me. I don't even know why, but uh, I think it was hard to admit that I have feelings. Aww. Okay, my heart is made of stone. No, it's not. So it was very, very hard to say that. But saying that on hindsight is actually way better than saying something like you're a fucking idiot. Definitely that was the wrong reaction. So no matter how cringy it is, you know what is the right reaction that you want to give, what is the right reply, what are the right words. So think about that and really reflect it in your head and think about how you're going to do it in the future. Because we all make mistakes and no matter how old you are, you're still growing, okay? Maybe growing older, I'm also growing older. But it's just some things that we will have to learn sooner or later. So why not sooner, right? Okay, so if you feel like you can't control your emotions when something happens, have a default phrase. And again, I want you to practice it, okay? So say a lot of emotions are coming up and you're like, ah. Oh. I'm so hurt. But I'm so angry because you don't understand the predicament that I'm in you. Can I spit on the camera? I think I spit on the camera. Okay, always have a default phrase ready. If you think you're gonna like yell at that person or like shout at the person and you are like Always have a default phrase. You have to practice this default phrase. This is non-negotiable. I'm only giving an example. You can say whatever you want, okay? What I wrote here is I'm sorry, I'm very overwhelmed right now. And I need to be alone. I will talk to you again when I've calmed down. That's all. That's all. Can be used for any situation. Any situation. But you need to practice saying it because it is not easy to say something with this level of control. If you have mastered this, if you catch yourself saying this, give me a comment below, okay? This is the ultimate level of I have controlled my emotions and I'm a strong independent woman or man, whoever is watching. What I think is it'll be good to ask the person to give you space because we all need space when we are very very overwhelmed and sometimes we say things that are hurtful and we don't want them to be hurtful, okay? I mean sometimes you want your feelings to be made clear, you have hurt my feelings, you have blah 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 whatever, okay? But you need to calm down a little, give your mind the space to work it out before you say what it is that you want to mean. So that is very important and um, yeah, that's all I want to say and if you're wondering if I'm very good at all this stuff, I'm not. I really try to think of it logically as a step-by-step -step thing and I hope this has helped you understand yourself a bit more. We really live in such a fast-paced scenario and why do we have to give you a reaction now? When you say something hurtful, why do I have to tell you what I think now? I can tell you what I think tomorrow with a two-page letter. I mean, if that is what you want to say. So anyway, well, if you like this video, remember to like and also listen to me talk about my sad personal stories, about my daddy issues, subscribe, journal more and meditate and also make your beat. Thank you for watching. Bye!